So I got hired to shoot this social media clip for a kitchen knife company. And if you think of knives, they're not the most interesting thing to film. But in this video, I'm going to teach you how to make something interesting anyways that looks like this. So first of all, the client wanted the video to be teasing the product in the beginning. They saw my other videos online and what I was doing there on the iPhone videos, I was just teasing how the product will look like. And I did the same thing here. I used my black background and I used my two light tubes to create that nice little, uh, you know, that stripe of light going over the product. And um, these were really helpful, but let's jump into the first setup and see what's going on there. So when you shoot social media videos, you gotta keep in mind that people's attention spans are really short. So you wanna have something interesting right in the beginning. So I thought I wanna have a cutting sequence in the beginning. So I was dropping the tomato right on the blade and it just like shows off how sharp the knives are without giving away too much detail how the, the knife actually looks. So I had it on an angle that you can't see the knife really well and also kept it really dark. So it just catches the eye when the blade just cuts the tomato in half. And, and how I was lighting this, I was just having my two light tubes just right on the sides of the product. And I rigged up the knife, it's actually a little complicated. So I used my Lazy Susan and put the black paper on top and then used the glass. I actually used the glass from my shelf here, uh, just the window glass. And then with the suction cup, I just mounted the knife onto the glass that it can't move. And in post, I had to key out the suction cup and the arms to kind of make it all black and just make it seem like the, the tomato just drops on a black surface. And yeah, it was a little tricky, a lot of masking there, but in the end, I'm really happy with the shot. And I actually only took one try to this. Like I, I throw the, the tomato on the blade and it just, hit it perfectly and while I was doing that I was also rotating the Lazy Susan so in the beginning I had the knife a little bit more shown towards the camera and then get it a little bit more on an angle that you can really see like how the tomato can like split in half so uh, yeah this is a little tricky shot right in the beginning but I'm really happy how it turned out. So after that initial cutting sequence where I wanted to get the viewer interested in the video. I slowed it down a lot. And actually this was just a test shot, and but it made it in the final video. So what I was doing here is I just placed my light tube right next to the knife. And I just wanted to highlight the blade, the side of the blade a bit. The knife was just actually on a black background and there was no moving there. It was just a still shot. And what I did in post, I just crashed the blacks and masked around the knife and then I just rotated it and pushed in to get that little movement in and I just it's a really simple shot but I think it's really effective to really tease how the knife will look like. So the next setup was another teaser shot so I wanted to show off how thin the blade is but if you look at it from the front you can't really see it because it's so thin so I showed it from the side and I used my macro lens for this and just went over with my light tube over the blade just to give it a nice little reveal light and that tribal light going over the blade. And I added some punch in and post, so I zoomed in and post. And it's just a quick shot that also wants to tease how thin the blade is. So in the next shot, you can actually see a little bit more of the knife. This was a little bit more tricky and I used my slider for this. Um, but uh, what I did here is I rigged the knife up on another tripod uh, with some clamps. And then I was having my light tube in my one hand and then the slider in the other hand and pushing in on the knife. And I kind of wanted to have the light going over the brand name. So I was like just moving the light over the blade and I'm just seeing where it looks nice and 
Uh, it took me a few tries to figure out where the light looks the best and which angle. It was just a little bit of try and error and also got to make sure that there's no dust on the knife. So I constantly had to wipe it off uh, with some cloth. But yeah, it is, I, I really like this shot because I think it's really effective how the light goes over the blade and highlights the pattern and the shape of the blade. But yeah, it took me a few tries to figure out the movement and everything because I have to coordinate everything myself. But again, I'm really happy with the result. So in the next shot, I wanted to show off the handle a little bit more because it has a nice wooden handle. And what I did is I rigged up the knife on the tripod and I wanted to make it rotate. I was just having the camera on another tripod, just filming, punching in on the blade. And while I was doing that, I was just rotating it on the tripod, just rotating the tripod and getting a smooth movement. And the lighting was just like one uh, light tube on each side so it just didn't change a lot and just rotating it and it's really effective to show off that because you want to have some movement in there so if you don't have an interesting product you want to have the product move in an elegant way so I figured that rotation is a nice way to show off that nice little wooden grip. So I wanted to show off more of the pattern and how nice the blade looks so I was thinking to rig up my lava pro blends on a slider again and then just having the slider go over with the pro blends just really close to the blade and it's just like a nice shot where the the blade appears majestic and it's in the middle of the frame and it just like goes over over the pattern and see how nice the pattern looks for the lighting i just had because i need a lot of light for this because that that lens is f14 so i was holding both my light tubes and i was just following the lens over the blade and make sure there's enough light on it So now I had a lot of shots like showing off the shape and like how the knife looks, but you also want to see the product in action. So I was thinking, how can I show off the, the knife in a cool way, which shouldn't be boring. And I wanted to have like a little cutting sequence. And in the beginning, I wanted to have like the knife rotating and then I want somebody grabbing it and then just like cutting up some fruit. So um, I rigged up for the, for the knife rotation. I rigged it up again on my, I tripod, I had someone rotate it, and then in, in the rotation, I grabbed the knife and pulled it out, and then just had another shot, which I cut right after. Just I shot just a knife like going through the frame, so we have a nice movement with the, with the cutting down. And this cut to the knife hitting some chilies on a glass surface. So um, this was a little bit more tricky to pull off because there's a lot of stuff happening at the same time. I, I cut in a little bit, then turn it over. So when I hit it, it's like flips to either side. So, and at the same time, while the knife was hitting the chilies, I had someone spray water that I wanted to have like a splash. So I had someone spray water from the back and timing all this was really tricky. Um, and then also on the glass surface because I want to get the reflections. Don't hit the glass too much because it can't crack. So there's a lot of stuff. I think that shot was the most complicated, but in the end we, we managed it. And the lights were just like on the side. So lighting the product from the side and then also got to make sure that the blade is in a certain angle that it doesn't catch any reflections from somewhere else that you don't want. So this was a little tricky, but it took us a few tries, but I had someone helping me with that because I couldn't do it myself. And in the end, it was really worth it because it's like, I like those fast cuts and it really sells the product and how sharp the knife is. And then right after that, I just rigged up some fruit and I just lit it from side. So I had both lights on either side and I just like in slow motion, I, in 250 frames, I just like cut up the fruit and it just like went down like butter. And I really like these fast cuts and I think it's a really nice contrast to the smooth shots, teasing shots in the beginning. So in the end, you want to show off the product in its best way. And how I did this, I just placed the knife again on the black background and rigged the camera from over top, uh, just like looking down. And then I had two light tubes on either side of the knife and I just turned them up and down, like dim them up and down, that it comes to light and it goes back into darkness. And in post, I just added a little rotation and a little punch. And yeah, I think it's a good way to end the video because you show off the product in its best way. 
Thanks so much for sticking around to the end of the video. I have more product videos every week, so make sure you subscribe that you don't miss them. If you like the video, smash that like button and I see you guys in the next one.